Hello and welcome. I'm Brandon Sabatka, founder of Integrity Entrepreneur Institute and creator of Wake Up With Fire. Hopefully you woke up with fire this morning or you're just getting started and you're rocking the day out with energy, excitement, and enthusiasm. And that's why you're here because you want to take your life, your business, your projects, whatever you're working on to the next level. And I'm going to dive right into it. When you're doing that, when you're pursuing something bigger and better, there's almost always a few things that are inevitable in that. And one of them, and that's what I want to talk about today, is fear. Whenever you're pursuing something that you love, you're passionate about it, you're engaged in it, you just, you're giving your heart and soul to it, you have fear and it intensifies because you love it so much. You don't want to see it fail. You don't even want to think that way and because you're thinking about not failing, it brings those fears into mind. And then we get scared, we get anxious, we have some uncertainty and doubt. And that's kind of what inspired this talk was this week I had a conversation with a client and in our session we were talking about her next steps. And she was going from her day job and kind of making this transition from making solid money in her day job to this entrepreneurial endeavor that she wants to do. And when we're talking about her next steps, she's like, I, you know, I, I don't know. You know, she was having these doubts about her next steps. And I said, you know, what, you know, what's going on? And she said, I, you know, I just don't know if this is really what I want to do. I'm kind of feel like I'm losing my fire. And I said, I said to her, you know, don't make the same mistake that I did. For 10 years, I gave in to my fear. And over the years, I kind of hopped back and forth between corporate and then trying entrepreneurship. And then I'd run back to corporate or to a day job because of these fears. And... I wasted 10 years and I told her don't do that you know just dive in experience it and you'll know if it's what you want to do or not very quickly um, and so what I told her to do was basically step into your fear and that's what I want to share with you today is when you step into your fear there's four key benefits that I kind of want to share with you and if you're here right now, then you're probably along this journey somewhere and you kind of maybe have some doubt, you maybe have some uncertainty, you're scared about something, maybe it's success, maybe it's change, maybe it's what your family might think or your friends, um, maybe it's just, I don't know, I don't have the knowledge or skills for what's coming next. Well, don't worry about that. Step in and you're going to learn. Here are the four things that you're going to really gain from it. Self-confidence, deeper connections, comfort and change, and creative freedom. Number one, self-confidence. Why? Well, anytime you take a challenge on, especially fear, and you beat it, how do you feel? You feel great. You're like, yes, I did it. And you're more apt to do something bigger and better the next time or take on another small challenge. If you lose, which I believe you can't, when you step into fear or take on a challenge, if you lose or you fail, you're going to gain. The reason is because is you're going to gain knowledge, skills, wisdom. Uh, you're going to learn systems and processes and methods that worked for you to use the next time. So that's where you're going to gain self-confidence. Number two, in all of that, you're going to build these deeper connections with people when you step into fear. Why? because you're going to share the adversity. They're going to see you're willing to take on challenges and go through the rough times, not just gloat over the good times. And people connect with that. People connect with the struggle because it shows character. It builds trust because you're probably going through it right now. You see that, man, yeah, that's exactly what I'm going through. Or I went through that. Or, wow, that's right around the corner for me. And you're starting to connect. Um, maybe not with me, maybe it's with someone who you know is sharing their stories. So that's where you gain the deeper connections. Then you get comfort and change. So all of this stuff is, is new and different, you know, and 
you start to understand what it's going to be like when you do share these stories or when you do take a step into somewhere that you don't know. You kind of learn the principles and the ins and outs of what's going on and you start to get more comfortable with that. Um, it's kind of like when the first time you rode your bike, you know, you hear that saying all the time. It was totally uncomfortable, but after a couple times, even if you were falling all the time, it wasn't as hard because you were comfortable with it. You knew it might happen. And then four is creative freedom. Creative freedom comes because when you step into these unknown areas, when you step into that fear, you, you don't always have the answer. And it comes... You have to dig deep in here and here and here sometimes or reach out to those people that you've been connecting with and gain this um, creative wisdom and collective knowledge to create solutions and get results. And even cooler than that is to create possibilities, inspire and cultivate them. So those are the four. And self-confidence, deeper connections, comfort with change and creative freedom. So, if you were, if it was possible for you to run through your fear right now, what would you do with it? Think about that, write it down, and build it. Be bold, be more, I'll see you next time.